Okay, it's restarted. Ugh, my arms are getting tired. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Hope it worked. Didn't work? Wow. I don't know, man. Yeah. Complain to Twitch, dude. Be the squeaky wheel that gets the grease, you know? Oh, what I just get? Magic? Infinite everything awesome. How do we get that? There we go. You got 360 on your end? Okay, good. Nice. So we're starting at work? It worked? It worked? I'm scared. Hurry up, that scrooge! They're headed for you! Good, it worked. Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big dog. We're running things around here now. Curse me, kill. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Please be a scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, me. I love the dialogue. Never beat us, Scrooge. Hey, when I get to gold, I'm gonna buy Ma a new hat. What are you waiting for, my duck? That lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. They want me gold. From me fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Uh oh. I'm gonna get you. Safe is securely suspended. There you are, sir. Everything is ready, sir. Riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? What is I'm it? not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. 3D graphics. Numbers. Frickin' dude! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? 
It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look oh of it. Oh my gosh, treasures! Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well... According to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Let's do this. Yes, let's go to the Amazon. Get lunch, we'll save him for later. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. Oh man. You guys are so pumped by the moon. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't launch, bud. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. This music. Launchpad, I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. to dignify that question with a response. This game is so nostalgic. No! Oh my gosh. Let's go. You're a wizard, Harry. Another ancient coin. Another coin. And this one had an inscription of an eagle. Goodbye, spider. to go over there immediately. Okay, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, you can hop on these. Okay, good, 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 good. Good to know. I'm being overly cautious. Another ancient coin. Aha! A coin There's bearing the, the image left. of the queen's horse. Ha, it must help us find the treasure no. for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. Let's go see what we missed. Man, 
Failing. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, so what's to the left? Oh man, these controls. We got to get used to them. You can't pogo. What's to the left, guys? You can pop off the cane by jabbing the button. Oh man. Yes. You guys are so right. I'm almost out of health. Some ice cream. Nice. Ah, you're a fake comment. Oh, money. Come on, spider. <gasps> cake. I just got cake, and it was not a lie. Oh, oh, come on, come on. The sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Monies. Anything over here? Nothing. coin with the image of a sire. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> and that's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, but well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Is that a promise? Oh! Bees! <sighs> Up I go! Ah, uh, you can't jump off the- so you can't jump off the rope, you have to like, fall off it. Fall off, there we go. Fall to my death? Not at all. Not at all. We passed 900 viewers? What? Why are there that many people in here? There was like 180 earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Found another one. And it depicts the ruling might of a spear. This is Launchpad. Mr. McD. Come in. Mr. McD. Launchpad. What was that? What was that? Jessica Bots are back. Come in, Launchpad. I found something. 
there's a carving of Mungo Kirkwak on this stone slab, and there's eight circular notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. What you clue? Bless me, bagpipes. bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. Do we go off the edge? I don't know what to do. It's been so long. What'd you miss? Missing some ducktails. What happens if I go off the edge? Don't go off the edge, but I really want to. I really want to. Get all the coins. Press up on the stairs. Nope, doesn't work. Nope, doesn't work. Make a flip. Let's go, guys. Let's go off the edge. Here we go. Here we go. That was a death. At least we know. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do till I've found all eight coins. I better get back to my search. All right, let's go find some coins then. Stop jumping off the edge of giant temples. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Woo! Hmm. Well. Woo! Let's see. We found six coins. Oh, the other two are back there. Well, that's convenient. Isn't it? Feels like I'm playing Shovel Knight. I've been watching a lot of Shovel Knight footage. No! Oh yes. Things. Where are we? We're here. This is the coin right below me. Where? It's right there. Yes! We did it! One more. This one. Yeah, Shovel Knight's gonna be shield. fun. This will be, this, this will be good know, uh, primer. I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. Cream. Thank you for the ice cream. A soft serve ice cream. I want some ice cream now. <laughs> Bees! Aha! This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? On time. Why? On time. Why? I've never seen a gem That's like this. Like Tommy Boy. Did you eat paint chips as a kid? All right. Well, we have all eight coins. So let's go do what we need to do. Let's finish this business. Oh, come on. You think you're tall. You're just a snake. Come on. More ice cream. More ice cream. I need some ice cream, guys. Just a little bit of ice cream. What? Not there, not there. Logo stick feels great in this game. It's so smooth. The movement is flawless. Flawless. Oh, really, 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 really. 
Okay. You got a free ice cream cookie sandwich today and it was delicious? Well, I'm a bit jealous of you. Just in time for smooth stream indeed. Oh, here we go. Launchpad. What if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Monko Kapquak's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. That was magical, Scrooge. How'd you do that? Oh, no. It's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. What's the magic words? What? Maybe not. <laughs> Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquack. And that beam of light. It must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? He's going to get across. Up here, Mr. McD. No, no. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. We've got this. You push B, you fall. That's how it works. Temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Lodgepad McQuack. McQuack. Oh, 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 of course, Lodgepad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. That laser's eating through there. No, that was bad. Uh, that was bad. Up I go. Secrets, indeed. All right, let's try this again. Again. Children and billionaires first. Look at all the money. Someone has to make sure you get your daily nutrients, Mr. McDuck. Marvelous job, as usual, Mrs. Beakley. She's feeding us so you much. You know, Mr. McDuck, these giant stone obelisks would make wonderful souvenirs for the boys. Nutrients. mechanic is pretty finicky. You have to like directly hit them only with the stick. It doesn't feel like Mario. Yeah, you 
You see, like, if you land, like, on the side of them without the pogo stick, it's kind of... Getting used to it. Come on, let's talk to A cake. Onward. Onward, indeed. Break the statue? You guys know all the secrets. You guys are saying these statues are breakable? The King's Scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts. What was that? Like fighting a boss, but it's fun. Right, but it's... This place has fallen to pieces. No, 
I'm not no, leaving no, without no, that scepter. Get us out of here, launchpad. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McD? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan king! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> just a back scratcher. Funny how the natives know English perfectly. Perfect American English. The scepter of the Incan king. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> you boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. Save the best for last. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the lost realm. The coin of the lost realm. Dude, Transylvania was. Is this one really hard? I don't remember. Dead duck. Oh man. This is it, kids. Dracula the Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone, heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von Vladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. Uh, is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. What a horrible yeah, monster. There's a curse. No such thing as Dracula. Right. Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus pocus. But you better stick close to me, just in case. Here we go. <clears throat> now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge. You know I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, oh, we're not afraid of oh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, there wait, she wait. goes. Oh no! Huey, Dewey, Louie. Of course. 
Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here, and I'll be back with the lads lickety split. Playing this all day, huh? Mirrors. going we have a thousand viewers in here that's crazy highest we ever had was like 890 something for a link to the past because people want to watch some ducktales ghosts no i'm not friendly with those guys Over 9,000. I have been quiet this stream. Oh man. Rip. Rip. So this is a little bit scary. Check out the lighting effects. Oops. Just a little bit further over. Man. Hold that. Y button. Not a real ghost. <laughs> you like his attack method, just run back and forth. Yo! I'm out of here. Hey, that wasn't a ghost at all. It was a beagle boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean, like a magic spell? Hi, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. Well, let's go then. Look at all the treasure. Mrs. Meekly, I've never seen a gem like this before. The mirror, it works. Smooth McScrooge.
Can I do an old man impersonation? <laughs> why, why would I want to do that? Gotcha. Where are we? Oh, hello, lady. Get some ice cream for me? Mrs. Bigley, is that you? It most certainly is. Why, just look at all these cobwebs. This place could use a woman's touch. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Waka waka, it's a treasure. Ice cream. Almost. Ow, ow, ow. I like how I get all the health buffs immediately before I need, I need them. Yes. As I die, right as the cake drops, right as the cake drops. Let's do this again. Man. Smooth is I mean it's smooth. Scrooge is wide. His pogo stick. Doesn't Alright, alright, alright. There we go, finally. No. Watch it. Get another one up there. We did it. Let's see. No point in hanging around here. Shall we go? Let's go down first. That, that wasn't any good. Neither are you. Ice cream. Thank you. I'll take it. Treasures in the heat. In the heat. There's a mirror. Nice. Nice. Oh man. We missed some stuff over here though. These graphics look a lot better than they used to. Ice cream. As 
they respawn. Go walk over. Walk away. Walk away, dude. Just, just go. Just go. Just go. No, no, no. Go, go, go. Bye. Yes. Okay. So, sideways. Oh, yes. Kick. Love kick. No. Well, I guess we'll go in here. Fine. Fine. Oh, we got teleported. Lemons, lemons, lemons are good. Oh, guys, we just got a permanent buff to our health. How excited! I'm excited. How excited are you? Pretty excited, bro. Pretty excited. Kind sounding phrase, but yet so not kind. Not kind at all. Hmm. Oh. Cool. Another ghost. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Diamonds. I didn't get to be number one by back and boom. Diamonds. So the thing is over there. We're almost there. We're here. Cutscene time. Aga Scrooge. Aga Scrooge. Help. It's another real ghost. With a actually, there is a real ghost. And I get hit by it. time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking Indeed. of scraps, he dropped this huck at Scrooge. Ah, it looks like guy. another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house Sweden has an Scrooge. illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. The oh, in the no background, wonder man. I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. Did Chibi pick for a profile pick? Uh, I'd like to use it for something. That's good. Someone made me a logo today. I posted it on Twitter. It looks awesome. And I asked them if I could use it. And they were like, sure, man. Okay, we need to go up. Upwards. We've already been down. Yes. Yes, some, uh, some graphic design guy made me a logo today. It's really good. It's a pro. They 
some food. Where's that mirror? It's right up here, right? There's the mirror. I knew it's all in all. Yeah, this game is fun so far. I enjoy it. Minecart and frenzy. Oh! Forgot about that part. Let's try this again. Oh, you got a duck. Get it, duck. Mm, I'll squeeze my duck. Whoa! Ah, oh, jump button, guys. Give Barry a shout out. Barry who? Barry who? You gotta jump as it goes down. <laughs> Is there no end to this madness? Alrighty. Boss time. Mini boss time. Double ghost with a triple... Too much. Too much. Too much. Not so tough without your army helmet, eh? <laughs> Wait till the gang in Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy in his cane. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck. Or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long. Oh, man, much bigger problems. Now, what I'm suppose scared. you meant by that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Uh, you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Like this one? Exactly. This is the last piece of the riddle. But uh, what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick, lad. Go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put. Money. Oh, Minecart madness. I've got to sneeze. This is bad. I've got to sneeze. This is bad. Oh, I keep. This is actually starting to be fun. Oh, this is good. Is there no end to this madness? Really no, there's an ice cream cone. I wanted the ice cream cone. Ooh. <laughs> this is actually starting to be fun. Ooh. Oh. So we've got to go all the way over there. Hmm. I wonder how we get all the way over there. I think I think it's this way.
Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Okay, we're gonna go all the way over. Over. Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Luck of the ducks! I solved the riddle! Uh, what riddle, Luck of Scrooge? Boys, I thought I told you to stay with Webby. They did stay with me, Uncle Scrooge. I'm right here. Oh, what a pretty mirror. Aye, lass. And if I'm right, using this spell will reveal the foul perpetrator. Behind all these shenanigans. Papers. Magic paper fragments. <laughs> Magic I dispel. Ach, I should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, Scroogey, my old friend. You wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around making a fool of yourself. What? <laughs> oh, you really don't think you need ancient sorcery to find Coin of Lost Realm, do you? No. I have Beetle Boy's hide paper scraps to throw you off trail. Why, you sneaky, conniving... Please, save compliments for garden party. What garden party? The one I will throw in celebration when I get home with Lost Coin. So long, fools! <laughs> Gee, she is very nice. You said it, Webby. All right, you kids stay here. I'm going to track down that witch and give her a piece of my mind. Here we go. Oh man. Ghosts and goblins. Super ghosts and goblins. Yeah, eerie lack of music indeed. Premonitions. Scrooge, why must you always meddle? That coin is mine! Bird lady. Lady of birds. Vultures. Oh. No! 
Condor, Lady Condor. Mirror and beam spells. It's the last time I shop for spell ingredients at this house store. You haven't seen lots of magic at the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine. <laughs> the number one dime will soon be mine. Saving content. Please don't turn off your system. Oh, awesome. We're doing it. Magica will keep out of our way now, Uncle Scrooge? It's hard to say, lad. Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Well, when it comes to Magica, there's no such thing as a convenient moment. Too true, Louie. Now then, where to next, lads? There we go. I muted my mic. Now you can hear me. I'm gonna get another glass of water for you.
water is boring? Well, you're made of water. Does that mean you're boring, sir? What are we, like 70% water as adults? You wanna add me on Wii U? I don't have a Wii U. Gyro. Our next stop's Africa, at the center of the Earth. What treasure do you think you'll find there, Uncle Scrooge? Only the largest gem known to history, the giant diamond of the inner Earth. Inner Earth? Hi, lads. This is the place. I can feel all those diamonds singing to me. <laughs> and it's a right pretty song, too. Gyro, I thought you said this winch was brand new. It was. It's an unbreakable diamond tether, Mr. McDuck. I made it myself. So long as you didn't use any of my diamonds to do the job. <laughs> ah! What's all this hullabaloo? Your lunch break isn't for two hours yet. We heard voices down there, Mr. McDuck. Strange, g g ghostly voices. Nonsense. There aren't any v v v voices down there. Oh, whatever you say, Mr. McDuck. But your mine is haunted. You finish digging it. Oh, you want anything done, you've got to do it yourself. And believe me, if I hear voices down there, I'll give them a good talking to. Now, you stay here, boys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The rock bottom, Mr. McDuck. This mine shaft goes down for miles. It goes down for miles, guys. One more word about this mine being haunted. I'll start haunting it myself. Haunting it yourself, eh? We shall see about that. Here. Yes. Okay, first we go over this way. Telling you kids for the last time, there are no ghosts in this mine. I don't know about that, Uncle Scrooge. Something must have cut the tether line and broke the winch and scared away those workers. I'll tell you what scared them away overacted imaginations. 
I'm not about to let a bunch of silly superstitions stand between me and the giant diamond of the inner earth. Now, man the controls and load away, lads! Let's go! Okay, first, we go this way. Oh, free money. Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? These mines are so damp, Mr. McDuck. I wanted to remind you to wear a sweater. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. It's nice to see you, but I can take care of myself very well, thank you. She runs off so cute. She's a cute old lady. All right, so. Very smooth platformer. It's a good remake. The plants have sexy lips, you say? That's, that's quite a comment. That's a good comment. This is a rockin' tune. Yeah, this is like a funky tune. Go down. Go by my own greed. Yes. I wanted it. I wanted that luster. Oh, I knew it. The 
This game makes me want ice cream, doesn't it? There's so much ice cream. <laughs> You know, I can't remember the last time I had one of those I kind of ice cream cones that they're showing. Like the, the frozen yogurt cones or whatever they are. It's been a long, long time. Oh, yes. So much ice cream. Oh, Kilkley's helping out with the mods. Soft swerve. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Soft swerve ice cream. <laughs> It's always vanilla and chocolate soft serve, isn't it? There's never any other flavors. Like, is there a strawberry soft serve or like a chocolate chip soft serve? Yes! Yes! That M. Bison yell. Yes! Is there no end to this madness? Oh! I tried. I tried. How do you stop this confounded contraption? I don't know how you stop it, man. How do you stop it? We did it. We did it! Really lost my hat on that one. Now, what in the world do you suppose those are? What Out of the way! Oh, my aching tail feathers! Oh, my aching tail feathers! Did I not tell you to stay with Gyro? Well, we are. Uh, uh... Oh, I'm disappointed in you lads. It's dangerous down here. Aw, uh, we just wanted to help Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> Hush, lads. Did you hear that? Squack a Rudy! Those must be the voices that Miner was talking about. You boys go back the way you came. This is no place for children. Yes, Uncle Scrooge. No place for kids, deep in an African mine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Killed with ice cream. How would you like to be killed with ice cream? Would you be humiliated? Or is that the way you want to go? Ow. Still got the money. What are you doing just walking around down here? Oh. Money? Gems? Double monies. Death by ice cream. On 
Yes. 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 Types of ice cream, say. Eh? You don't touch me. Knew it was gonna happen. You, what's the meaning of all this racket? Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terra Fermians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the great games. Great games? Stand back. You'll interfere with the role. Ooh. Strange creature, you are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now, see here. I own this mine, and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside, I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. Oh. transform into a ball and do that. Would it not be? That would be awesome. Oh. Yep, a morph ball. Except like a big like that. can hold up under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one. Though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terraformians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes. The giant diamond of the inner earth. We got the diamond. We did it. We've got it. Garbage rocks. It's beautiful indeed. Yeah, it's not much bigger than the uh, the normal ones. I, I did notice that. 
I was expecting it to be much bigger. 3D diamond on a 2D Scrooge. Yep. Gee, Uncle Scrooge, you mean there weren't any goats down there after all? That's right, Louis. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with the giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. Now, where to next, lads? There's the scepter and the giant diamond and the coin. the original NES art. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The lost crown Shall of Genghis I Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Libby darling. I need you here looking after so the boys. So close to the moon, indeed. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle Scrooge! Scrooge. Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wheel lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Crash the plane. See, Mr. McD, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. 
Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll may have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy. Whoops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay. You're the boss. No. Well, uh, go. You, uh... Flop out of the air. <laughs> there it is. Jackpot. Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. Or one of the mighty ducks. One of the evil ones. Sweet. 
secrets. You're freezing, Mr. McDonald. This will keep your insides warm and toasty. Ice cream will keep your insides You're warm and toasty. Always as good as you want, my dear. Ice cream warms you up every time. Every time. I know when I want to. You know when I'm cold. I want some ice cream. Happens every time. You know. Whenever you're whenever you're cold, you don't you don't snuggle up by a fire or put on a sweater. You eat a bunch of ice cream. That's how it works. Why is soy not good for you? Because it's loaded with things called anti-nutrients. Whenever you eat soy, unless it's fully fermented, it sucks nutrients out of your body. Way more than out than you actually get put in from the soy. It's not good. And not to mention it's, it has uh, estrogen mimicking hormones. Yeah, deja vu indeed. Fun to hear all these these songs redone, remastered. But they still have the old feel of the NES. Do you have my piece? We already have it. Okay, so. Trash in the camp. We've already been here. Let's get to it fast. Uh, this is the way you're supposed to go, obviously. Okay, so the last one is that way. That way. Broken. Cuts me, kilts. It's Bubba Duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scrooge, save Baba! Scrooge, save Baba! Scrooge, save Baba! Baba helps Scrooge. Baba helps Scrooge forever. 
You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant ice box. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga, ooga. In that case, follow me, lad. Let's do it. Kills it. Time for you to head to the surface. Baba home with Scrooge? Aye, launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. On your way now? to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. Cream. Ice cream dead ahead. It's all the Titanic sun, guys. Ice cream.
Here you go, launch pad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. If this order, do it. Now there's your problem. Webbergill, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. But I can help, Uncle Scrooge. You're not like the boys, are you? You don't think I'm just a worthless tag-along, do you? We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launch pad. Knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz. I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety split. More like lickety splat. Glum gold. Nice to see you, my duck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boys. One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down. Comes a ten megaton finders beam, duck. <laughs> Turn a profit on this, much duck. This is getting a little hairy, boss. Scrooge. <laughs> Show him, Mr. McD. You're taking too much damage, Mr. McD. I remember what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do not that. Did I just auto walk off the plane? This is the craziest flight I've ever flown. There we go. Got it now. Knock it off, McDuck. I need to work. Do it. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Hurry, you fools. He's catching up. Try it the other way around, and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, launch pad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. Wasn't me. <laughs> Then what was it? 
That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the Lost Crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go! Do not worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared! Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad? Gee, now I'm extra scared! <laughs> Ice cream, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Stop! Please stop! Webby! Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm. Did you, ma'am? 
Ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn. I can't get it out. A thorn? You don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> She likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. We did it. This is like watching DuckTales episode. of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why don't you answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Bubba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webigail. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> the green cheese of longevity. So excited for the green cheese of longevity. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter